Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn the notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today, well, I'm answering your assumptions about me. Let's get on with the video. So, the first assumption about me is kind hearted. Thank you. I try to be. The next one is brave. I don't know if I'm brave, but I'll take it. Oh god. The next one is you can sing. How do I put this nicely? If I sing, it's raining outside. It's a thunderstorm. I'm horrific. I can't sing. You're unhappy. I wouldn't say I'm unhappy. I'm pretty happy. I'm definitely in a lot better place than I was before. And there goes the beeping. I wouldn't say I'm unhappy. I'd say I'm just enjoying life. Next one is you're secretly suicidal. And I will answer this with 100% honesty. I am not suicidal. I haven't been suicidal in over a year. Which is a big thing for me to say. You are single. I am not. If you haven't seen the previous video I made talking about being in a relationship, I'll link it on the iCard up there. But I am in a relationship with a person called Kyle. I'm not going to put a picture of him up because he doesn't want to be on YouTube. So, next is you've never had sex. Well, I have. Consensually and non consensually. Joys are joys. The next one's not an assumption, it's a question. I'll answer anyway. But the question is how did you get out of the cycle of having one omission after the other? Well,. As you know, no, probably no. Last year I had two admissions. One in Hammersmith, one in... One in... Where was the other one near? I don't really know where it was near, but... Yeah. Um, and before that I was in a year-long admission. Before that I was in and out of hospital constantly. I didn't even know how many admissions I had. Um, basically, I just told myself that my last admission was my last ever admission. And from there, I've kind of been stable. And recently I got discharged mental health services, there's a new video coming out on that soon. But yeah, I am stable. And I think you reach a point when you've had an admission after admission where you just need to tell yourself this is it, this is the last time I'm going to be in hospital. And we really tried manifest in it and basically through doing that I, I've i not been in hospital for over a year and I'm happy. Next assumption is your favourite colour is black. It is not, my favourite colour is purple. Hence the purple blanket and the purple hair. Next assumption is you don't like being around people. I don't. I spend most of my time in my bedroom and that makes me happy. I don't feel lonely, I just keep myself to myself. You do OnlyFans. I used to do anti- um, I used to do OnlyFans. I don't do it anymore. You're addicted to benzos. Fuck you. Next assumption is you have more money than you share. I don't. I genuinely am broke. You miss being in hospital where people cared for you. I don't miss it. There's nothing to miss about being in hospital. There's nothing great about being in hospital. Hospital is not the target. Recovery is the target. And I will say this, without the hospital admissions that I had, I wouldn't be where I am today. But at the same time, these hospitals have traumatised me. So no, I don't miss it. You miss self-harming. Mm -mm. Why would I miss something that was literally destroying my life? Oh, that's a lovely one. You're a failure. How am I a failure? I've just finished my de degree. I graduate this year. The next one is, you're fake. Thank you very much. If I come across like that, I'm sorry. Don't mean to. 
The next one is You Love Music. I do like music, but I especially like vinyl music. I have about 20 vinyls. Not a big collection, but just a, a me sized collection. And I have a record player, and I prefer listening to records over digital music any day. Next one is You Grew Up Wealthy. Now, here's where you're wrong. I didn't grow up with money. I grew up in a town called Telford and well my mum always struggled to make rent so when I was younger she'd be afraid that bailiffs were going to turn up and she went to the shop so she sent me to the shop on my own so I definitely didn't grow up wealthy and yeah that's it for the assumptions Ooh. my call now <laughs> but yeah if you're new subscribe join the growing family turn notifications on and give me a thumbs up thank you for watching and if you want to take part in the next assumptions video go follow me on instagram which is linked here and on the i card thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace